In this video we will make this facade inspired by a sunflower. Open a new conceptual mass type template. At one of the elevations place three reference planes. Place an aligned dimension between the level 1 and each of the new reference planes. Place an aligned dimension between the top two planes. Create new parameters for the three plane heights. The top one would be the parapet height. Change the units of the file to meters if you want to. Adjust the heights according to the model. Assign new names to the three planes. Go to level 1 and pick up the center ends arc tool and place three semicircles with the intersection of the planes as the center. Hold the arcs and check the boxes is reference line and center mark visible. Pick the align tool and check multiple alignment on and first click one plane and lock all the three locks. Do this for the other plane also. Place a point at each of the semicircles and change their normalized curve parameter value to zero. All the points should lie in one line. Hold each of the arcs and make the temporary dimension permanent by clicking at the dimension sign then assign a radius parameter. Hold the middle arc and change its positional to the H mid. Hold the largest arc and change its position to the H top. Also copy the largest arc to the clipboard and from there paste to the same place first and then to the top of the parapet. 
The upper two arcs are of the same size. Place a point at the midpoint of all the four arcs. A normalized curve parameter value of 0.5 is to be assigned. Change the NCP value of the point at the middle arc to 0.25. And the a point is placed at a the lowest arc which is very near the middle point. I have placed it at a distance of 0.03 from the middle point. Join the three points with a spline. Check inside the box is reference line to make it a reference line. Similarly join points as shown here with reference lines. Hold all the four curves and check inside the box is reference line and create a form. Create a form on the other half symmetrical to the first form. Also create two forms for the parapet as shown here. Create a new project type file into which the first file will be loaded. Place a wall at the level 1. Adjust the size of the wall. Hold the wall and from the Edit Types menu duplicate the type of the. Press Edit button and assign the material.
Load the first file into this file. The Mass Show button in the Massing and Site tab is automatically turned on. Place the component at the level 1. In the left or right side view place the component near the wall. Use the up-down keys on the keyboard to move the component. Press wall button at the massing and site tab and duplicate again for the wall type to create a separate material for the component. When the show mass button is turned off the mass does not show. Hold the mass and create an array. Filter out the array and ungroup it. Hold all the components together and array again. Adjust the position with the up-down keys on the keyboard. Hold the components together again and array again. Select the wall button and select the mass to apply wall one by one. This can also be done by arraying one component after applying the walls. But sometimes this does not work. Turn off the show mass button to see which components have been applied. And continue. Please like, share and subscribe.